Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to retrieve data as a result with get method by using invoke web service. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new resource or to create a new data with post method by using invoke web service. Before that, let me show you the employees web API, how we are going to use the API for the post method. If you see on my screen, I'm having employees API where in our previous tutorial, we have seen about the get method, right? Now in this method, we are going to use post method to create a new resource. Let's click on the post API by clicking on that. Now, if you see over here, the request information that we have to give the URL as API slash employees. And after that, the body parameters, we are going to pass the employee ID, first name, last name, gender, and the salary. These are the body parameters. But over here, the employee ID is auto generate, so we don't want to pass that value over there. All right. Now you can see the request formats over here. We can pass the data in a JSON format or XML format, right? Now you can see this is the sample one which we have. We can take the sample one and then we can pass the data. All right. Now you can see the resource description over here, response formats. You will get a sample string as an output if it has been added successfully. All right. Now let's go back to the workflow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a new invoke web service action over here. Let's select the invoke web service and drag onto the workspace. Now the URL, I'm going to give it the same URL that I'm going to give it. HTTP localhost and I have given the port number. This is my server, right? And after that, I'm going to give API slash employees. This is my URL and the method I'm going to use post method to create a new resource accept I'm going to give JSON and in the same way the content type also I'm going to give JSON okay and the request body we are going to provide the data in JSON format I have copied the sample request body so that I'm going to paste it over here and you can see over here I don't want to pass the ID and the first name I'm going to pass it as Divya and after that, I'm going to give the last name as P. And after that, I'm going to give the gender as female. And after that salary, I'm going to give it as 10,000. So once we have given the request, but there is some of the changes which we need to do in the advanced parameters because of, if you see in the advanced parameter, I have given the encode request body. So the data will be encrypted and then it will send to the web API. So what will happen? The data will not be captured or it, it will not retrieve for the employee object over there. All right. So that it will be given it as null. There is no encryption required over here so that I'm going to encode the request body as disabled and then I'm going to click on save. All right. Now our post method is ready to invoke the web service right now before that let me go to the database and then let me execute the table once again employees table that the required data is there or not if you see that 13th record 13th id that i'm having shushma p female on 10,000, right with the idea of 14th we'll get divya and the last name as p and the female and the respective details we'll get over here once we will run the flow all right Let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see the status code. We got it as 200 and after that, if you see the web response over here, the response is added means whatever the data we have given in the request body at JSON format has been added successfully into the database, right? This is my web service response, which we have given. And if you see the web service response headers, we are having same as is that we have seen earlier. All right. Now let me close this and then let me go back to my database and let me execute the table. Once again, employees table. Now you can see 14th record. I got the ID as 14 
and then i got first name as divya and the last name is p and you can see gender female and salary is 1 lakh all right this is how we are going to create a new record or new resource with post method by using invoke web service thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day